Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. Today we want to continue on the P-hoist and look at the option when the main motor has an additional micro-speed gearbox with micro-speed motor attached in place of the brake cap on the main motor. So, this arrangement has another conical motor at the rear and normally this will be in line with the drum and on the back of the main motor. The port for seeing the displacement of the main motor will still be used to determine its brake axial displacement and if it needs to be adjusted. The adjustment though is different than the previous video. The adjustment for the micro speed gearbox that some people call a clutch is going through ports on the sides of this housing to access bolts on the output cup of the gearbox that serves as the brake lining for the main motor. But we always recommend starting with the micro speed motor brake adjustment first. That way you stall a system if you don't get enough axial displacement in your adjustment here and save the motors and bearings from potential destruction. Our micro speed motor is dismounted and we set it on the table like this to make it easier to show. But there would be no need to remove it from an actual hoist. Just make sure your bottom block and hook is secured before you adjust or move any brake parts. The back of the cap has a hole where you can see the end of the micro speed motor shaft. When this motor is energized by looking in that hole, some have a cap to remove to view, you can see the displacement of the end of the shaft. Simply take a depth measurement running and not energized with the brake set and compare the distance to measure your axial displacement. When an adjustment is needed, it is performed by removing an equal number of shims which are located here and on this side in two packs. So, let me take the back cap off and reveal the shims. We'll remove these socketed nuts our cover and we can see that on the smaller motors the lining for the brake is glued to the inside of the cover. DMAG sells kits with the lining with epoxy if you change your own or an assembly from the factory with a pre-glued lining. Removing an equal number of shims from each stack Notice that these shims used in the older motors are not slotted, but actually have holes that surround the studs. So the brake cap has to be removed to remove the shims off of their studs. So after removing those, I'll simply reattach the cover. put the socket head nuts back on. After we're reassembled, we'll run the motor and test it. Once this motor is adjusted, we can safely move on to the adjustment for the main motor at the front of the gearbox. So now that we've completed our micro speed motor, we're going to take a look at the details of the adjustment when there's a clutch or micro gearbox with the main motor. So I'll tip this up and let you zoom in to get a better view. So we're going to take a look closer at the micro speed gearbox and the access ports on the side where you get to the bolts that hold the clutch cup together. There'll be six holes and four bolts. You can access two of the bolts from each side through the port. A typical adjustment 
is to remove all four bolts and then spin the clutch cup one sixth of a turn counterclockwise, moving it, extending it closer to the brake lining of the main motor. Now let me tip this forward so that you can see this clutch cup that we're talking about. Notice that it has a very large circumference hub that has threads on it, on the OD. And the cup surface itself that serves as the lining for the brake has coarse threads that are on the ID. They're locked together by the four bolts. We'll undo the bolts, release it, and I will show you how to spin this and what it looks like. With the four bolts removed along with their flat edged keeper for the outer ring, you can see as I spin this now, it's free to turn. Remember, if you're installing a new lining, you'll have to turn this clockwise and make it go further back to make up for the adjustments it had before. The typical adjustment is one-sixth of a turn, and it's likely only ever had three adjustments in the life of the brake lining. So keep track of how many holes you're moving the outer ring. This was our starting position. So the typical adjustment is one-sixth of a turn. It lines up to the next hole. And once there, simply put your keepers back in and test. When I reinstall the bolts with their keepers, I'll have to make sure that I'm lined up on the holes in the hub and look for the best alignment for the adjustment that I want. Keeping in mind, it's usually only one hole adjustment moving the outer ring around the hub. There will be four bolts with their keepers to put in, and direction matters for the shape of the slot to get the rounded portion toward the cup. So hopefully you have a better understanding now of how the microspeed gearbox is adjusted and how the microspeed motor is adjusted when it's furnished on a P-hoist.